There's a bacteria we don't talk enough about, mostly because in training we're kind of taught to shelve it as it's not really a big deal, but it can still cause a lot of problems. You may have heard about it and it may be affecting you and your fertility inside your relationship. Hi, I'm your local OBGYN. I love women. So let's talk about it. So there's a certain type of bacteria that is not tested for in a typical vaginal swab. And that's important to say because when we do things like shore swabs or Sure swabs plus you may think that you're getting like everything tested but we are certainly missing out on urea plasma so in my training i was taught that urea plasma historically was being uh, a concern for infertility in females and then later in my training i was told shelve it that's not really true the reality is that urea plasma always exists inside your vaginal bacteria and it can cause symptoms of irritation at your urethra which can mimic uti like symptoms it can cause bv like symptoms there is kind of conflicting data on female infertility because we don't know if it really does and the mechanism that it acts, but it does have potential for male infertility where we see that it affects the sperm motility and quality. So for that reason, it can be more concerning. It could theoretically cause inflammation in the uterus, like endometritis type symptoms, um, as well as issues with preterm labor and baby issues. Ultimately, it's an easy antibiotic fix, though there's some resistance patterns. But if you're getting chronic infections, it's worth asking, have you also specifically checked for urea plasma?